Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different from the other ones because I've been thinking about doing this for a long time. In our hospital, we have so many different cases where we need to improvise, you know, go beyond what is routine protocol. So today I'm going to show you what we really did on a real case. It's very difficult to capture it live whenever you have the case in front of you. You have to improvise, you have to you know, stay focused on your case. So today I'm going to tell you a true story based on a true case where we had to scan both hands all together. So if you're interested, stick around and I will show you what we did. For those who are new, my name is back again. I'm an MRI with Agnifer. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced MRI topics, tutorials, just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. So like I said in the beginning of the video, why do we have to scan both hands? Usually we don't do that. We scan one hand at a time. But this case was special because we are talking about arterial venous malformation, AVM. So this patient had AVM on both hands. So we need to highlight both hands. So when did we scan one hand at a time? The reason for that, we could do it, but the reason for that, we need angiography, contrast enhanced angiography, to determine if there are any arterial or venous or a mix of everything. By doing that, we need to scan both hands. If we scan one hand, we had to give contrast agent two times, the patient need to come back. So with the contrast enhanced angiography with high dynamic or high temporal resolution, that means that it's easy to capture to see if it's arterial or venous or a mixed up. And it also means that you need to have high temporal resolution, high dynamic. You need to capture this fast. So we're using the twist sequence from Siemens, which we optimized to around three seconds to be able to capture this. So I made a little presentation for you to show you how we position the patient and what kind of results we got from, from a healthy volunteer. So let's go and I will show you. All right, we did this on 3T scan. I'm very sure it will work on 1.5. This is a Siemens scanner. Nonetheless, it will work on every other vendors as well. And I'm just going to show you what we did, what kind of calls we used, and what kind of uh, pace and positioning we were using. So as you can see here, my colleague of mine is lying here, both hands forward. So this is the, uh, the head of the, the table. So that means that the patient is going head first, prone, okay? Lying on the stomach, arms forward, like a Superman position. So we are using a coil Ultraflex large 18 channel coil. So of course you can use the spine coil if you have so on every other coil if you have it available. So I really want to use the Ultraflex because the small elements is covering more of both hands compared to the spine coil where the elements are bigger. So that's the first thing I had in my mind. The second thing is that if can the patient lie like this? We were lucky that the patient could lie like this and uh, we were trying to make the sequences fast with the deep resolve uh, AI and uh, that made it possible. So we had also a cushion uh, at the chest area just to make it more comfortable and of course earplugs along with headphones and then you have the emergency button nearby so if the patient needs to push the button they can do it. And you can see uh, on my next slides here we use the sandbags on both the hands. The reason for that is just to fixate so it wouldn't be easy to move and also keep the fingers all together so that you won't spread it around because you will get bad fat saturation and you will need to cover more, you know, so keep it all together and make the as comfortable as possible. So as you can see, we don't use the hand directly on the core, so we use some cloth there. And the next here, we're using a cloth above the hand as well before we put on the body 18 channel as you can see here of course you need to uh, fasten this so it will stay there whenever you're taking patient in and out of the table and we have some cushion uh, at the area of the legs so it would relieve the the pain from the you know the back and the knee and so on and so on so that's how we did it and the results i'm going to show you so this is results from a healthy volunteer. And as you can see, the results is we did uh, morphologic images like a T2 stir, coronal, and different planes. So you can see it's it's great having a good overview of both the hands in two different ways. Did and good coverage. So uh, we can see whenever we're doing contrast in hands, MRA. So we can see the the, uh, the, way the contrast will arrive. And you can see the flow. You can see if arterial or venous, and the mixed up, and so on. So we also did it in different planes, like uh, transversal or coronal. And of course, we are combining this with the deep resolves and making it a little bit faster. So it'd be easy for the patient to lie there. 
So more or less, this is exactly what we did to, to capture both the hands. Well, that's it guys. I hope you find this video valuable. Nonetheless, if you have a scanner, Siemens or Philips or GE or whatever, whatever calls you have available, you have the possibilities to do something similar like this if you need to. Like I said, this is not routine. It is like outside the box thinking so the patient don't need to come back at two contrast agent doses and so on. And the results was amazing. Of course, we could answer the clinical questions by doing this, which is great for the patient. It's great for, for us being able to do a good job. And, you know, you scan, you care, right? So this is what they're all about. We want to, to provide the best service for the patients. Before we close up, I do have a question for you. Have you done this like this before? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, you get a ding ding whenever new videos of me are coming up. So, in the future, I will make more of this kind of video, you know, real life, back to storytelling just like this, because there are so many different cases I really want to, to share with you guys and give you some ideas. Thank you very much and uh, remember to take care. Until next video, peace out.